The girl in the spider's web was directed by Fat Alvarez and stars Claire Foy as uh, Lisbeth Salander and uh, this is basically a soft reboot slash sequel to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. But um, this time it's a whole new cast um, where in the previous film it starred uh, Rooney Mara as well as uh, Daniel Craig. The rough beats of the plot this time is that a Russian gang under the name of The Spiders are trying to get their hands on this program called Firewall which has access to nuclear weapons and the only person um, that can unlock this program is this kid who Claire Foy now has to protect. Claire Foy is a phenomenal actor and I loved her in The Crown as well as First Man uh, even though she had a smaller role and in this movie I really bought into the fact that she was this badass vigilante and I think this is a fairly strong character. It's a quick paced film with quite a bit of action and a pretty standard plot but uh, it really is a painfully average movie and besides Claire Foy's performance, it really has nothing to offer. The thing that bothered me the most in this movie is probably the action sequences because it was shot so poorly, there was a ton of shaky cam, uh, I mean jump cuts and you know it's just so hard to tell what was going on and I know most directors ma might think that uh, this is the cinematic way to shoot an action sequence but really it's just so terrible to look at. So I thought this movie had a great subplot that could have easily built the antagonist but they took this great idea and just chucked it out the window. <sighs> There's also a lot of illogical decisions made by some of the characters and it's just going to make you go like why did you do that and why didn't you do this instead? It could have been much simpler this way and uh, let me explain right so this really isn't a spoiler but during one scene the bad guy had the opportunity to kill Claire Foy's character but he just left her there and then uh, five minutes later she had the opportunity to kill him but she just left him there and I guess they did this for the sake of a big fight scene in the third act but you're really gonna treat your audience like they're so dumb to not uh, pick out this illogical error because I've seen this uh, you know, repeated in so many other movies and I think it's important that we should uh, constantly point this out so that movies in the future don't do the same mistake. I'm not gonna get into the product placements in the movie because there are a ton of them but then again, this is a Sony film so I guess this is pretty standard stuff. Besides uh, Claire Foy's character, I really didn't care for the other one note characters in this movie or the painfully average story and I'm just really wondering how they managed to sign this grade A actor for this film. Um, must have been a really big and juicy paycheck I suppose. This isn't a bad movie, I mean you could still watch it and go like alright, eh, uh, okay fine and then forget about it two hours later and you know it really had nothing compelling to offer besides Claire Foy's performance so um, with all that being said, I'm gonna give The Girl in the Spider's Web a C+. If you're looking for a film to watch this weekend, go watch Bohemian Rhapsody and stay far away from this film. And if you guys have seen this movie, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.